Galo K. Salute to all you kings, man. Thanks, you guys, for rocking out with my channel. It means so much to me, man, because to me, brotherhood is one of the most important things, man. Especially when you see the all-out assault on masculinity. I'm not in America. See, I come in and out of America a lot. I mean, I probably fly more than anybody you know, man. I'm coming in and out, in and out, in and out. And one thing, when you leave America and come back, I see America deteriorating, man. And you you see that there's an attack on like straight males. If you're a straight male, man, you are no longer needed in the community. They don't want you. They don't. I'm telling you, man. Our whole system is deteriorating because you need men are the builders. And when you don't have men there, you have start to have these kind of problems that we haven't. So many of you guys have been sending me these articles about the ladies in Bali getting arrested. What I think about Black it. Girl Magic. It's just typical. Listen, on my flight back to the States, I gotta have foot surgery. Many of you guys know this. Look, one of these sister girls missed her plane and went the hell off. It was so embarrassing. I'm just looking at her, just like, I, I give her this look and they end up taking her to the back. I don't know what happened, but it was embarrassing, but it made me think about them. The lack of accountability, that's all it is. And it's just not just a sister girl thing because many women have the same thing in the States. They have been treated like Disney princesses so long they can do anything they want. But you as a man have been under attack. You can't do nothing. You know, I told one of my nephews that one day you're acting crazy. I said, all right, keep acting crazy. Watch what happened to you. You're not a woman. They'll let a woman get away. A woman can say anything. You see right now, man, all these men, dead. what, Vin Diesel, academics, Puffy, anybody. It's just, it, it can be anybody. They can bring, bring up something happened 50 years ago. I did the Cosby. Not saying a person innocent or guilty, but it got, it got to be limitations. Like, it's, it's, it's sad to me to have. It happened to me before in my life. Woman did some stuff to me and just said something, and I had to pay a lot of money because of it. Just craziness. And that's kind of what led me down the path of coming on the passport movement, man. That That's that's one of the things. So I'm glad it happened because it led me to um, Charles Tyler. And when I watched Charles Tyler, man, and got into frustrated in Brazil, it looked at TaylorMade and these people, man, I wanted to run and it changed my life. And I know I'm doing the same thing. I'm another brick in the wall, man. So these are the reasons why I do this, man. I'm sick of this stuff, man. Like, it's, it's just, we just need to stay unified as men. Stop hating on each other. Stop depoliceing. Just because everybody travels for a different reason. Like, we all traveling for a different reason. My thing is options. Go have your fun. If you want to pay for some mangoes, that's not your business. Somebody else shouldn't have a problem because I've said this in many videos, man. They don't, they're going to look at it bad anyway, man. Uh, men tell me all the time, well, we can't, we got to watch how we, man, get the hell out of my face with that. Like, you trying to tiptoe around for women is the problem. That's, that's the problem. Sister girls don't care about what we think of them. They do whatever they want. They, they are, they are free to do whatever they want. We have to be free too. This is how you fix things, man. As men, we come together, get off that race stuff. As men, because we all under attack. I push brotherhood. I don't care what color you are, man. We got to ride together as men and get and by us unifying. That's how you can fix certain elements of the community or do like a lot of us did. Go build communities other places. <laughs> and that's these things that, that you have to do, man. But looking at that, I thought that was typical that these girls would go there and act like that because I, I seen it all my life. I've just seen women act like that. They just do anything they want and nothing happens to them. Right now, a woman can say she's pregnant for you. You could be put on child support in certain states without no DNA tests or nothing. And even if the baby not yours, you might still pay child support. I know men who, do, who, who this has happened to. These are the things that make men start to go off, man, and make men act like that. So just like, I know with me, man, I'm telling you, I, I, you've heard me talk about like being depressed before. I was depressed, man. Look, I went through all different kinds of movements, looked into the pro-black movement, the manosphere, looked into all those different movements. But I was glad that I found this movement because 
this was one of the only movements that had results. Look, love the manosphere, love a lot of that. But sitting there talking about women for 20 hours a day that without no solutions is, is nothing. Man, the passport movement was like, hey man, get your passport. When I saw Charles Tyler, then Taylor made, and then my uncle, my uncle was married to a Dominican woman, man. He came home over the holidays one time. He was he had been staying in Dominican Republic. Met a woman, they ended up getting married, chick beautiful. I mean, he come in my grandmother's house one day with this woman and it, it stopped everything. She was gorgeous, just naturally just beautiful. And she was pleasant. She didn't have that same kind of that viper type spirit. She just was, she was pleasant. And let me tell you, man, some of my family members got on her immediately. It's like my, my aunts and these, these, these ladies in our family, how, how we raised, man. Like we raised with black women, rule everything in our society, man. And black society, big mama didn't rule everything. So whenever his, his wife came that she was serving him food and doing these things, I'm telling you, man, my aunts were like, oh, he can get his own food. Now they were playing but it shows something more serious, something underneath. She was completely different. And I took notice of that. And I'm like, you know what, man? Maybe I need to go to the Dominican Republic. And at the time, I was married. And I'm telling you, man, I looked at his wife and I looked at my wife. My wife was sitting in the corner with a boot in her mouth, just miserable, didn't want to be there, didn't want to be around my family, but just, just miserable. You know, just like, man, you know what? I got to do better. These, these are the things that help. And look, I talk to brothers every single day. Look, my channel now is a year, I think a month uh, old. And in, in that short time, we almost got 12,000 subscribers. I got, uh, I think a million and a half views. And like, this is one year, man. So a lot of men are feeling it. Cause I talk to these guys every single day. Every day of me having my channel, no matter how I felt, I have talked to somebody on the phone for free. Every day. I've talked to guys because I want to hear their stories. I want to see what you fit. And it helps with the content because it keeps me um, relatable. And and I, I like to hear your story. I like to hear what you're going through because it makes, it reminds me of the things that I went through. And that's how I'm able to make better content, man. I'm telling you, man. So. You guys keep 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 in contact with me. I need it. They, these are things that that helps me tremendously, man. But yeah, man, of, of course, this this the thing. Look, seeing women act like that, them it it affects you as a man that you don't really want to help them. Look, let me let me give you something. Let me give you two more things before I get out of here. I'm riding down the street, man, in, in my car, and I swear, I see a a black woman with her car broke down. She had a flat tire. And she's standing out inside. Uh, she's standing outside her car. And I looked at her, man. And I passed her by. And let me tell you, man, it took everything in me to turn around. It was like pulling teeth. And the only reason I turned around, because she had a little boy looking out of the window. And I said, damn. I turned around and I went help and I, I put a spare on her car. But it took every, I, I wasn't like that. I would have I would have broke my neck to help a woman. But this these things is this 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 it, it it just driving me crazy now i just like almost i ain't gonna say i i just dislike what's a lot of how a lot of women act and it took a lot for me to help but i did help and I'll give you something else this happened um actually a few weeks ago when i was in the states me and one of my boys i go to go visit him and he lives in this nice condo doing real well a woman get in the elevator, with black chick, and I didn't even speak to her. I don't even speak to women like that, man. I know this video different and I'm saying things, but I don't, man, it just, in the United States, I don't even speak to women like that when I'm in the States. Look, he's a very pleasant person. He said, hey, my sister, how you doing? She opened that paper and popped it. Didn't say one word. I didn't speak to her. And it hurt him real basic. Man, what's wrong with her? I said, man, she thinks she better than you. That's what it, that's what it all balled out. Even though he live in the same building to her, it's expensive bill. He's doing good financially. She looked at him and saw a peasant. And that's how a lot of these women is. And shout out to the women that's not like that. I do meet women that's not like that. But man, I'm going to tell you, dude, man, stay consistent, man. Stay working with the brotherhood. Get yourself together. 
all you do is just going through divorce and you got heartache right now and you're worrying about it, man, be thankful you're getting away from Shirley. And that's what Big Shirley is to me. Big Shirley, just that attitude, man, that it's just, it's not really a racial thing because I've met white women like this too. But man, that Big Shirley, get away from them. Like, run. This is how you fix stuff, man. You got to let it burn down. In our society right now, man, you look at the community, man, these, these ninjas acting crazy everywhere, destroying everywhere they go, man. And, and you know, people get mad all the time and say, why this person say they're not black? Or this Man, you look at our society, man. Would you want to call yourself that? And this is real talk, man. So these are things we got to discuss more, man. But you men, save yourself. Be selfish. That's what I'm pushing. 2024, my brother, be selfish. Get your passport, look elsewhere. When we all leave, you will see a change because it's about supply and demand. So look, man, any of you guys thinking about coming to the Dominican Republic, join the Blue Book Passport Cartel, man. Join all those groups, man. That's safety in that. Why not join them all? Passport bros, black men options, join all those. They will save your life, man. But remember, man, brotherhood over everything man thank you guys man for rock with the chat i just vented a little bit on this one man but i'm telling you that black girl magic stuff man is crazy we need to get away from that man we out black girl magic <laughs>